this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Minecraft version 1.7.5, newly released. You can download this right now. And not only that, we actually have news about 176, 1 1.8, and a new version of Pocket Edition coming soon. So before we get into all the news, I want to cover what's new about 175. So I've got my little army of chicken jockey back here. They're actually important to this update. But the main reason that Mojang pushed this out is because they're trying to get their realm service going. Now if you don't remember what Minecraft Realms is, it's a little uh, server service that you can rent small servers through the Minecraft client and have your buddies play on there. And you can also switch the map out to do mini games easily, they just added that feature. It's currently only out in Sweden, it's going to be released in the other Nordic countries including Norway, Finland, Iceland, and Denmark, and then it will be pushed out to other countries following that. So we should be getting this here in the West pretty soon, or you know, you might already have it if you're watching this from one of those countries. So good on ya, hopefully you're having fun with it. Now the other reasons for 175, these little guys, they've been causing lots of problems. If you play on a server that's 174, you know that the chicken jockey have been causing a lot of heartache. They will lay eggs and then zombies, normal zombies, will pick the eggs up and they won't despawn because they're holding something which is a way that uh, Mojang added a while back so that zombies don't despawn when they grab your equipment to alleviate frustration, but it's actually caused so much server lag that now they've uh, they've done a little update. I thought this was actually in 174, but they, I guess it wasn't. It was only now in 175. The chicken will now despawn with the jockey, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. The only problem is if there is a chicken caught in a cave somewhere laying eggs right now, you still have to go find it and kill it on your current server. Uh, or use a kill command to kill the chicken. So right now, any chicken that <laughs> spawned before the update are still going to be problematic. So be careful with that. But yeah, now we shouldn't have as much of a problem with zombies amassing and lagging servers. Uh, there were some other little minor bug fixes and stuff like that. But yeah, the, it was basically a small update to try to get realms going. So the news about 176, we're already getting a 176 update. That will be released, uh, Jeb says, after Game Developers Conference in March, which is uh, 17th through the 21st. So sometime late March, we're going to get 176 as well. Now, 176 is quite a bit more exciting. That's going to add support for the new skin system that we were supposed to get in 1.8, but we're actually going to get it a little early. That adds another layer to your skin, so not only does your head have a layer around it, you can actually have... Uh, separate arm and leg files have uh, you know things overlaid over your skin to make them a lot more complex and cool looking if you've checked out some of my snapshots of 1.8 you've seen some of that stuff but we're gonna get that early which is awesome and then also they're gonna add in support for name changing so that is a feature that people have wanted for a while that's gonna come in 176 but Jeb also mentioned though you won't be able to change names immediately you're gonna have to wait a little longer past 176 for them to get that system up and running but the idea is they're working on getting name changes into the game. Who knows if they're going to be paid or how it's going to work, but they did add that ID system so that no matter what, you're going to have an ID tied to your name, but you can change it kind of like on Steam, how you can change your screen name to whatever you want. So that'll be nice. People can change it around if they've been stuck with a certain name for a while. So uh, <laughs> XX Poopy Pants XX or something. You can change it to a normal name <laughs> if you want. Now 1.8, uh, the news about that, we basically know that 176 is coming at the end of March. That means 1.8 still has quite a while of development. I wasn't sure how long they were going to work on it. Dinnerbone is still uh, currently on vacation, I believe, so he's going to come back and work on those more adventure-oriented survival features. But this is promising. We have a few more months now for 1.8 to get some more features so that we have you know, more compelling stuff for survival. I'm excited about that. The big Pocket Edition update I mentioned. So the one developer working on Pocket Edition uh, was tweeting Johan uh, Bernhardson. He tweeted this picture and it shows some of the new blocks in alpha build of 0 0.9.0 So if you play pocket edition, you're actually going to get granite and uh, diorite and andesite all that stuff You're probably gonna get that before us You're also getting uh, some of the new wood and stained clay and flowers and stuff like that That's all coming in pocket edition, but it's just funny that uh, pocket edition is actually gonna get some blocks that aren't in normal yet So that's kind of a cool little thing for uh, people who play that but anyways, lots of little bits of news. Again, 175, not a major update, but it will uh, it'll help when the Realm service comes out and alleviate all the lag with the chicken jockeys on servers. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you look forward to the new skins and stuff like that. Getting them sooner is definitely nice, and I'm excited for what's to come in 1.8. So please stay tuned to this channel. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft news and uh, updates about the snapshots. 
And uh, thanks again for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Go have fun in 175 without chicken lag. Goodbye. <laughs>